Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2, episode 58 of my full release, full release hard mode Let's Play. It's a lot of episodes, so currently working on Super Luchara Brothers 9, which is a platformer, haven't made a platformer in a while, it's like 80% done, 78% close enough. And over here we are working on updating the engine for the gun engine, that is third person shooter, which is what I'm going to make next. Research team currently has nothing going on, marketing team... Also doesn't really have anything going on. We also got these newer graphics and sound studios that help support the main ones because they were kind of the slow point. So now uh, the mocap's probably going to be the slow point, but really everything's kind of been finishing at the same time. Nothing's really been slowing me down significantly. Uh, my consoles are selling, selling extremely well still. The chair gaming machine is going to be going over 100 million units sold very soon. The chair mini machine pro is going to be the best selling console on the list never mind it already is <laughs> which is outstanding like i love that sorry game station 2 and ds um number one that's cool that's awesome that is awesome all right so um my mmo is still going strong although we just thought of something i released a free to play um game free to play phone game Okay, so it has, okay, 300,000 active players. I didn't realize it at the time, but uh, it uses server space. These active players count on these server spaces, same as an MMO. But I think we'll be fine. I hope I'll be fine. <laughs> All right, so this is almost done. Oh, yeah, okay, we're done. We're just waiting for marketing. So that's that's my bad. I was kind of asleep at the wheel on the marketing there. So let's do a pre-release with press. And then we'll overhype here. Let's do... Now let's throw another update at Candy Crash. I think it's going to end up being profitable. Yeah, I mean, 1.7 million. That in-app purchase, that's just last week, right? <laughs> I, I, I didn't really want to make a free-to-play game because, you know, I'm trying to role-play as, like, a, a good developer that doesn't do crappy things, <laughs> like make free-to-play. Well, okay, so I shouldn't say that. Free-to-play with microtransactions is understandable. It's... It's the games you got to pay for, and then they're ridden with microtransactions. That's the real problem. I, I guess I understand. I shouldn't crap on free-to-play games that have microtransactions, right? I really shouldn't. It's the it's the pay-to-play games with microtransactions that drive me nuts. Let's see if our overhype goes through here. It did. Beautiful. So now we can release this. Um, so search publisher, platformer. Where's our one that is platformer right down here? Hudson? No, no. Oh, no. I did not mean to do Hudson. Is there only three stars? So let's quickly boost them up. Another 98%. Very really consistent with the 98%. Um, so subsidiaries, where's Hudson at? I did not mean to do Hudson there, but we'll just boost them up to five stars. That should be fine. There. I'm assuming it'll be fine. Hoping it'll be fine. <laughs> Fingers crossed that'll be fine. So, sequel. World of War 5. So, this was the best-selling game of all time, or it is still the best-selling game of all time. Um, I expect it will be probably for quite some time, because it... I'll, I'll look at the charts right after this, but yeah, it, it blew every other game out of the water. Actually, my MMO is probably the closest to it right now. We're going to make this one a manufacturer exclusive, so it's likely not going to sell quite as well. But I mean, 271 million people on my consoles. It's not like I'm not sacrificing a lot by doing manufacturer exclusives anymore, which is which is unreal. That's that's the goal, right? Have your consoles have so many users that you can just make exclusives and not really lose out on money sales. And I'm going to lose out on a few like you know, the, the PC in particular. Um, where is it at? 157 million users, right? So we are losing out on some. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's fine. 271 is enough. And if we keep doing these eventually, right, we'll be that number will climb even higher. I mean, it'll never be as many right unless you have four consoles but the console revision system has kind of um 
made it so that you generally don't have more than two consoles on the market anymore. You used to. You used to have, have more. Oh, Lord of the Rims Online needs uh needs marketing. So let's market that. And improve actually I'm probably I think I'm behind on game reports. I have not done any game reports lately. Oh my god, I'm way behind on game reports. Whoops. That's my bad. MB, MB. But we'll get caught up. That's okay. That is not the end of the world by any stretch of the imagination. All right, so everybody's busy except for research who have nothing to research. So there's really not much I can do there. Keep my eye on QA though, as soon as we're done with these game reports. Switch them over to making World of War 5. Good. Improve that gameplay. Squash those bugs. Polish it till it shines. 100 extra tech points. We will take that. Because one of my programmers wanted to be employee of the month. And they worked a night shift. Uh, Summer Slump obviously is affecting my consoles. That's okay. That's expected, right? It's not... It's not anything unexpected. And this will get their hype up because they actually could have used some hype. Just kind of slacking on the hype there. Oh, yeah, 190. Oh, streaming platform integration and a modern four fan system. So that means tech level seven console is on the horizon. This fan should be the first thing. Yeah, the first tech level seven thing. Seventh generation, baby. All right, so what do we want to throw an update at here? Super Blue Chair Bros. So let's do Lord of the Rims. Because this is going to be one of the best selling games of all time. It already is. It's already over 25 million. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. It's 10 million more than in the next one. That's a lot. Right? And uh, yeah, Lord of the Rims. It's about to be in top five. Awesome. Yeah, like a lot of different games here. I mean, a few Lord of the Rims, but yeah, a lot of different IPs, like a lot of different um, series is represented in the top 10, which is good to see. I like seeing that anyway. Like it'd be kind of boring if it was just nothing but Lord of the Rims games or whatever, right? And okay, not much going on there. Uh, commission work, engine. I could maybe just do engine work. What do I think my next game is going to be? Crazy Games Tycoon 7 is going to be coming off the market soon. I could get ready to do another eco sim. Survival. Survival is more of a secondary genre. Like, I have five stars in it, but I've only made a couple of survival games that were like primarily survival. Like, what even is my survival IP? Dungeon Survival? No, I think I... Is that the only survival game I've made? Fantasy Moon? I've made two, and they were both just new IPs that have zero IP value. I mean, I guess I could do um, Dungeon Survival 2. Right? Yeah, let's do that. Just It's nice to do different stuff, right? I haven't really made many survival games. God, I haven't made a survival game since tech level three. That was a long time ago. All right, let's also add the best tech level five to this engine. Just in case people want to license it and they want to do a tech level five game. Actually, no, let's not do that because I don't want to encourage people to do tech level five games. I want them to do tech level six so they can put them on my consoles, right? <laughs> That's how I'm looking at it anyway. All right, let's bump up. The, the uh the cut I get. All right, and oh yeah, I do need to market this. American campaign. Of the war. Let's get that to a hundred. And away we go. Digger Dugger 10 mobile is off the market, so that is the port. I I ported Digger Dugger 10 over to mobile, and it actually made money. So that was my first mobile game. So that was fun. It was a little experiment, right? A lot of experiments the last couple episodes because I'm just, the point I'm at now, I've done the basics, right? I have like $10 billion in the bank. I own like a ton of subsidiaries, right? I'm buy, I bought out a ton of my competition. I've basically won, right? 
So now we're in the experimentation phase, largely. So I did my first phone game, my first free-to-play game. Oh my god, my console's selling over a million per week. <laughs> Holiday season's going to be like, well, big, obviously. <laughs> Um, not really anything for marketing to do, I don't think. A little early for pre-release marketing, I feel. Just a touch early. A lot of bugs to iron out yet. This QA is a bit behind. Oh, we got advanced open world 3D graphics. Is that? Okay, it is tech level 6. I figured it would be, but I thought there was a chance it might be tech 7. It is not. Um, let's do another Lord of the Rims 10 update. Just because that's, you know, selling well. Let's keep it that way. Oh, I need another MMO add-on is what I need. So that is going to be next, actually. Uh, market research. God, yeah. Well, this is... I keep I keep setting the trend myself. So the market research hasn't really done... <laughs> hasn't been worth anything because I keep setting the trend. It never gets to what it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Anyway, it's fine. And overhype. Okay, yeah, we got a bunch of bugs to get out, but they should be bug fixing now. Yeah, they'll get through those pretty quick. Everybody else is polishing. Let's just let them squash the bugs, get the overhype results, and then let them polish a little bit. Because if you don't let your QA team polish um, for at least one bar, I would say, you run the risk of like unknown or hidden bugs or whatever they want to call them. I forget what they call them, but hey, my free to play game is profitable. With 500,000 active users. All right, so finish development. Search publisher. Where's my third person shooter? Blockstar. Getting good at third person shooters, which is nice. All right, so how good is this going to be? 98. <laughs> to absolutely no one's surprise. <laughs> All right, Lord of the Rims online. Um,. Sarah Man's Tower. Sure. <laughs> um, turn on everything. 60 features now. All right. So this is going to need some work. Going to need some marketing work in particular. Not World of War. Sarah Man's Tower. Bug fix it and polish it up real nice. Yeah. How much? How much money have I made off this MMO? Excluding the add-ons. Three billion. Three billion dollars off my MMO. Oh my god. And like I said, that's not including the add-ons. Like most of the add-ons have also made half a billion each. So you're looking at like five billion. Probably. Oh, we lost some tech points. That is not the end of the world. We will survive that. I'm pretty confident. We're just doing an update to Lord of Rims Online because I haven't I haven't done an update in a long time, just a normal update. Uh, a lot of commission work to get through here. All right, Crazy Games Tycoon 7. 3.3 million consoles. I know I've said this a couple times, but I believe it's been accurate every time I said it. That's the highest number I've seen for that, I think. Anything to research? There's not. Oh, I got to re-adjust this new engine as well. I got to get that new graphics thing in there. We're going to have time. All right, let's do pre-release special marketing. For Saruman's Tower, just a pre-release for the press. And then quickly, okay, just continue development. Give it a little polish there, folks. I want to update this engine here. The survival engine. It does not have advanced open world 3D graphics yet. So let's get those in there. As soon as that's done, which it should be now, we can release this. Give Adam the publisher. Streaming platform integration is a go. 95%. They're slowly dropping, right? The first few add ons were like 98. Then there's a couple at 97, then there was a couple of 96, now they're at 95. But honestly, 95 for an MMO add-on is is good, 
right? So I'm not upset about that number at all. So we did lose 14,000 subs last week. This week, though, that number probably going to go up, I would say. So develop a game, sequel, Dungeon Survival. Um, survival what? What works with survival? Um, Role-playing, strategy, action, platformer, first-person shooter. RPG seems like it would be the best fit with dungeon survival, right? So let's go with that. Um, is there any survival-based licenses out there for us? Let's check. Not seeing any. Oh, there's one. It's only two stars, but hey, better than none, right? And boom. Brian the Menace. Is that Dennis's brother, I guess? Probably going to be a quadruple A game. I'll just put it there for now. Um, manufacturer exclusive. Survival engine. Where are you at? Way down at the bottom. First time using these graphics. That'll be fine. Oh my god. I do not know where these sliders are supposed to go. Um, so which of my survival games. Which was Dungeon Survival. Dungeon Survival came out in 88. What was the other survival game I made? So I've just made two survival games, right? Um, when did it come out? Fancy Moon came out in 87. All right, so I want to look at the letters for Dungeon Survival because it came out second. And too short, some more length, more depth. Um, too casual. More innovation. Better level design. Too innocuous. Too easy. All right, so we got to take four away. But with the RPG, hmm, actually, let's put innovation back down. Let's take beginner friendliness down multiple. Like multiple, multiple. Same as we'll go core, we'll go hard. Because these, these are both... They share some some sliders, right? Um, I'm just going to be beginner friendly as a zero. That might be an overreaction. And these sliders, where are those supposed to go? Not there. I'm, I'm 99 sure what I have currently is not right. 30, 30, 10, 30. Close to being right, but it was not. Turn on everything that matters. 61. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a quadruple play game. I'm not cutting, not cutting 11 features, right? Um, but everything looks good, right? Other than the fact that there's no, no stars to this IP. Other than that, everything looks good. Um, does dungeons work for a survival game? Demons does. And dungeons does. All right. It's perfect. And I know both of those fit for an RPG. Because, I mean... It's Dungeons, Dungeons and Demons definitely work for an RPG. I'd be pretty shocked if they didn't. But you never know. You never know. Okay, high quality graphics. And some high quality sounds. It's been a while since I had to play with sliders while making a game, right? Like it's been a it's been a hot minute. Like a scorching hot minute or twelve. All right, free update. Oh, we got a couple games we got to update here. All right, so MMO numbers should go positive. No, we're still losing 17,000 even after putting out an add-on? No, yeah, here we go, 33,000. That's more like it. That's what I thought. That was what I expected. I was a little surprised that, I guess, I thought the week ended. Maybe it didn't. I don't know, regardless. So this is the trend for, oh, 13 more weeks. It might actually change. Sports. Well, you know what? Next game is going to be Luchera Hockey then. Because assuming I don't set the trend again, which I might not. So we won. Again, I don't know. Like developer of the year, I've won every year except once. I think I've won game of the year every year. Like graphics are sound. Seems like I win one or the other, but not both most years. 
I have one of both. I've also... Did I have a year where I didn't get either of those? Anyway. All right, so one of my add-ons came off the market. That's fine. It's, I mean, it's better than fine. It's, it's expected, even. So, sports engine. Let's get the best tech level 6 stuff going here for you. Nice. Gaming machine is what we want. This is only 40% done, but that is fine. We're thinking ahead. All right, how's my <laughs> uh, server capacity? I'm at 55%. Just good because I mean, if we get too high, I don't really have anywhere I can add more servers. We're up to six hundred twenty thousand. Oh my god, six hundred twenty thousand active players. Three million. I mean, it went down to two point five, but even two point five million weekly in-app purchases. Oh, oh, we got a bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of stuff. Hold on, hold the phone. Gameplay feature first. Let's get that done and add to Dungeon Survival Two. If it matters, it might not matter to a survival game. Uh, it does, though. So let's add that. And then let's get this engine feature. So we're... Oh, that's tech level 7. So we don't even care about that, actually. We're not going to add that to the engine because I'm not making a tech level 7 game yet. Until I have my own tech level 7 console, which will be coming soon-ish. But until it happens, I'm not making a tech level 7 game. It's still good to have the research done, obviously, right? I just, for some reason, I thought it was going to be tech level 6. I did not expect it to be tech level 7. All right, so they're done, but QA is still doing their thing. So actually, my QA is kind of... could use a couple extra employees. There is space in there for a couple extra. So that's, what, three? I could fit three more in here. Some new, uh, some new phones are out. So let's fill these seats. All right, container development. Uh, I got to do special marketing. So one more, give me one more game tester. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Thank you. And and automation. Here, let's do another update for Ceremon's Tower. And there we go. We got our third. Beautiful. All right, now the room is full. And now we can do pre-release special marketing. Or Dungeon Survival 2. $11 billion. I have $11 billion in the bank now. <laughs> I could probably buy some more uh, subsidiaries, I guess. MMO, oh my God, it's almost up to $8 million. My console, my main console is over $200 million now. I don't know which of these charts to check. They're all so impressive. Cherry Gaming Machines rapidly moving up the top 10 list as well. Because it, I, this one hasn't even been revised yet, right? So whenever I do get full tech level 7 stuff, it's going to get revised up to tech level 7. And um, yeah, then it's going to start selling. Yeah, it's it's going to end up, I think it's going to end up in second. I don't know if it'll catch the mini machine, but it's going to beat all these other ones. Because it's it, it's just beginning its career, right? Or its life cycle, not its career. It's, it's a console, which doesn't have a career. But I want, to, I want to do a brief flashback. Does anyone remember when I released these consoles? Um, oh, that's the wrong button. I, I intentionally took a loss on the consoles at the start, right? Um, to get units out there. And, like, it bothered me. It bugged me taking a loss. And I know it bugged some of you folks watching. And, uh, yeah, 672 million profit, 356 million profit. It worked out just fine, right? Like, <laughs> doing that was, yeah, it, it ended up being worth it. Okay, so sports is the trend, which is what we wanted, right? So, yeah, I don't know why I'm not putting this out. It's done. Too busy flapping my gums. Ooh, do we own any that are good with survival? Well, I guess I better... Not good with it. Their fan base likes survival. Guess I'm gonna have to buy one. <laughs> uh, they only have one star, but I guess I can buy them and just beef them up, right? So subsidiaries. Uh, what were they called? This venture tools. Yeah. Because I mean, to get the second and third star is pretty cheap. Well, even the all the, it's all cheap for me at this point, I guess. <laughs> and boom, boom. So they only make games for my consoles now. 
All right, and now we can use them. Search Publisher. Adventure Tools. Where are you at? I own a lot of companies. <laughs> My first advanced open world 3D graphics. My first cloud service. And 98%, considering I did not know where like any of the sliders were supposed to go, I'm calling that one a win for sure. And uh, that's going to do it for this episode, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.